Hello my friends and happy holidays. So today I wanted to do a vlog to show you a very secret recipe for cinnamon rolls. Now you may have seen my pumpkin pull apart bread which is a Christmas favorite or even my low fat cinnamon rolls but both of those take a lot of time. Um, they're not so hard but you know you do kind of have to plan a little bit. So I wanted to show you a secret family recipe. It's actually Christian's mom's recipe and I'm going to share it with you guys because I love you. Um, but it is seriously amazing. It is so easy and they're not healthy, but they're not actually that many calories. We're going to use these crescent rolls as the base. I mean, you can get the reduced fat ones, but I was looking and really there are only like one gram less of fat and the calories are about the same. So there's very few ingredients and they're only like maybe 125 calories each. So they're really not that bad for you, you know, calorie wise, but the ingredients meh. So um, anyways, I wanted to share it with you um, since, you know, Christmas is coming up and maybe you wanna make these so they're a little bit quicker. We are going to start with our crescent rolls. I always have issues getting these opened. You'd think they would make whole wheat ones of these by now, but they, I, at least I think they don't, but look at that, it's supposed to open and didn't. What do you do, bang it? There we go. All right, we're gonna get these babies out of here. So this will make eight cinnamon rolls because each croissant, crescent, whatever, will be one roll. So we're gonna start with one. Actually, we have to assemble some of our other ingredients first. So what we are going to be using, um, a little bit of butter. I've, uh, you can just use melted butter. I try to lighten it up just a little bit using some butter and milk. And then we're gonna make a little cinnamon sugar mixture. I'm using Truvia because you know what, why not lighten it up a little bit. Stevia is fine, but I think Truvia tastes less sweetenery or something, I don't know. So in our house, we use Truvia. Mix that together, mix up that buttermilk, not real buttermilk, butter and milk. What we are going to do, the secret ingredient in these is marshmallows. Now, once these are baked, you can't even tell that there is a marshmallow in them. That is, if you're using fresh marshmallows, which you must. I've made these with marshmallows that have been sitting in my pantry a while, and they do not work. The marshmallows don't melt <laughs> the way they're supposed to, so definitely use fresh ones. So this is a nice new bag, and this is going to make your cinnamon roll incredible people will be like what did you do to make it so sweet and gooey on the inside don't tell them let them wonder all right so what we're gonna do take the marshmallow we are going to dip it into the buttermilk mixture then we are going to dip it in the cinnamon sugar then we are going to place it in one of the croissants and we're gonna roll it on up now very important you want to pinch the sides shut because you don't want the gooeyness to come out and they might explode anyways but if that does happen it's okay so another important thing we want to spray our muffin tin i just got this coconut spray i've been wanting to try it but i've been not buying it because it's kind of expensive but i like it it's pretty good i guess i'm gonna spray these up just eight of them and we are going to one more time through the butter and through the sugar all right and into the muffin tin it goes. And that is literally all you have to do. They're so easy. Key points to keep in mind as I assemble the rest of these. Definitely seal the sides. That is what's gonna make or break these. That and, like I said, using the fresh marshmallows. All right, we are almost done. I cannot even believe how easy these are. It's a good one to do with the kitties not hard at all just make sure that they pinch them shut there are our cinnamon rolls look how beautiful and cinnamony they are and now we are just gonna bake them 350 degrees for like eight to ten minutes and they will be ready to devour So you see some have popped open, that's normal, but the goo is all in. This one's actually perfectly unpopped, but you see inside how gooey it is and the marshmallow has disappeared. It's melted into this delicious gooey goodness that I just wanna eat now, but I can't because it's too hot, so I have to wait a minute. And these will deflate a little bit, but that's okay. Ooh, look at this, look at this gooeyness. 
can see it moving around in there. All right, to get these out, once they are cooled to the touch, just use an offset spatula or a butter knife to get up under there. Voila, parfait. All right, it is time to taste it. I can't wait any longer. It's still pretty hot, but it's time. It's time. Oh. See, the marshmallow is completely gone, and it's just gooey and beautiful. Mm. Flaky, sweet, a little bit buttery, just enough about 125 calories, it's not bad. I mean, I could eat a few of these without feeling bad, right? If you are looking for an easy cinnamon roll recipe for Christmas morning, or any morning really, this is one of my go-tos because it is so quick and delicious. So that is my recipe for this week, and I hope that you enjoy it. If you do try it out, definitely tag Mind Over Munch in your photos on Instagram or Twitter so that I can see them, because I definitely want to see. And I hope that you guys all have a very Merry Christmas, um, or Happy Holidays, whatever you're celebrating. I hope it's happy. And next week, stay tuned, it will be the last vlog of 2014, and I have a very important and special announcement that I will be making, and I'm so excited to share it. So, until then, enjoy the holidays, enjoy your family, enjoy the cinnamon rolls, and I will see you on Thursday.